good morning everybody it's me again crazy bag lady so it's saturday morning it's the weekend and we've got blue sky so what's the first thing we do shove some washing in so i washed my bed i've washed ruby's bed so it was james's turn so i've chucked james's bed in the wash um it is 10 to 10 i'm not dressed um but i have been up doing things it's just that i'm not finished getting ready Hello ladies, hello, oh glad that you're all together having a little group hug. So just had my second cup of tea in me, crazy bag lady, have a good the day. Uh, right, so calendar of the day, let's have a lot to get two on a weekend. Oh this looks cute, safe and sound, oh that's so lovely isn't it? And obviously it's a special memorial weekend as well, so that's very fitting for this weekend, that's lovely. Right, so, a little bit of Lorraine's magic. You're tarotly brilliant. Have I pronounced that wrong? I probably have. You're tarot tally, tarot tally, brilliant. Yay! And don't ever forget it. Right, midlife crisis. We may want to forget this. Uh, right, so, what do we read? Um... Oh yeah, I read that yesterday. Right, so don't eat health food. You need all the preservatives that you can get. <laughs> That's very true. Happy Saturday. It's breakfast time. I'm still not dressed. Quarter past ten. I'm such a rebel. Right, breakfast. Bran flakes, blueberries, skimmed milk. Weenie Fred, are you okay? So it's Saturday morning. No idea what the plans are yet for today. That's it, Florence. Not Florence, darling. You get nice and close and personal, Florence. The trouble is, since we started sharing dinners, they constantly follow me because they constantly think that I'm going to share my food with them, even though I've not got any food. You constantly think I'm going to give you some of my dinner. You have to wait till dinner time, don't you? And it's not dinner time yet. No, it's not. The washing is on the line. Look at the blue sky. almost be a summer's day. The blue tips keep coming on the bird feed though. I don't know if they'll land while I'm stood here. They might do. We got the little blue tits, so cute. Oh, that was such a special little moment. And it's lovely in the sun, it's really warm. Um, it's definitely a warmer out than in day. Right, so determined to get on with some jobs today. Um, I think I'm gonna paint my dog's pink up here. <laughs> um, the beige just doesn't look as exciting with the wallpaper. So me and James were up here discussing it the other day and I was like, I think I'm just gonna do them pink. So. If I can paint anything, I need to carry on filling this in, which I did fill in a little bit a while ago, and then I forgot to come back and do it a bit more. So I've got my little part of filler stuff, and I'm going to try and fill that in a bit more. Hmm. I filled it in a bit more. It's still got a little bit sort of cut out of it, um, but I've sort of done it. I've done it twice. Um, it's where this third hinge used to be. But I think when it's painted, I don't think you'll really notice. Hmm. I can't believe I'm painting this door again, but here we go. I'll start with this one. We're my way round. Hmm. Instant happiness. It makes you so happy. This pink colour. Look at it. It's beautiful, and that's only the undercoat. Hmm. First undercoat done of that door. It looks lovely. Have this door to do. That door to do. I've got my washing. I've got the biggest ironing pile. This door. Lovely. Oh, it's never ending. So I've come back downstairs, made Ruby some dinner. My husband, I've made him a bacon egg cob in the air fryer this time. I've been bleaching my dishcloth, so that's in my sink. Oh, so many jobs to do. And I just want to go upstairs and carry on painting because I really like it. 
It's lovely. I've not regretted it one bit so far after one door. <laughs> There's my husband's cobs. Ooh, they look pretty impressive, don't they? So two bacon, two egg, with a little bit of brown sauce made with love. It's my dinner time. My husband said he preferred the cobs to the bagel. He said it was absolutely delicious, but he likes really soft stuff. So I think the bagel's sometimes a bit crispy, which he doesn't like. Uh, anyway, so here's mine, right. Let's get into position. So I've got wholemeal bread, uh, one egg, one slice of bacon, and some mozzarella. Right, get into position, Ludas. Are you in? Right, let me begin. Make sure I don't bloody drop any. <laughs> exactly, yeah. That would be very silly of me. I know, yeah. <laughs> Right, are we ready? Okay, now sit down. Sit, sit, sit. You already sat. <laughs> right, Lawrence, Dolly, sit down. Sit. Right, good girl. Right, Winifred. <laughs> I love how excited Winifred is. Look. Right, Winnie. Here you go. Make sure you chew it this time. Yesterday you just swallowed it. Right, there's one more bit each. Are you ready? It's a lucky day. Right, there's a little bit of fat here this time. Right, Florence. Right, Dolly, sit down. Sit. Sit. Go, go. God, you took my finger off. You need more training, young lady. You need to be more Winifred. Right, and move. You've had your bit. This is Winifred's bit. Move out the way. No. Right, Winifred. <laughs> Winifred, I'd hurry up before they take it off you. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? It's all gone. You didn't even have to get out of your bed. How lovely is that? Oh, was that nice? Say, thank you very much. Thank you. Right, you can leave me alone for a bit now. Because it's all gone. It's all gone. There's no more. Right, I'm back upstairs. So, while the sun's out. I'm going to carry on because obviously you can see so i'm a bit confused about this bit so i think i can't just stop there because it'll look awful so i'm gonna to have to paint this one end post i think in the same shade of pink so that'll be interesting and the wallpaper that's gone it's just pulled a little bit of the paint just there not too bad it just fell off pretty much i needed to move it because of the door frame and it's more or less just fell off hmm. I'm working my way around. So obviously I've washed James's bed so his duvet is on the floor. So I'm not painting the other side of the door because James obviously is a boy, don't want, not a boy, a man, um, but he doesn't want a pink door, which I totally understand. So the other side of his door, I'm going to do neutral. So I'm just doing the frame in the front bit. Mm. So that's base coat done. And I don't want to paint this little section as well. And this little section. I can't make my mind up because I want to be careful because obviously I don't want to do all my spindles. So I think I do need to do that one. done that one I've done that one might as well do them all my husband would kill me <laughs> um so I've just done that one I think it'll be okay mm. quarter past three it's already starting to not get dark obviously but the sun's already gone off my washing so I think I need to get that in right I'm all running on a mission so I've just filled that little bit of plaster in because when the man replaced or fitted my bead in he just caught my plaster there so I've just touched that up and this little bit is a bit rough, so I'm just going to sand along here. And then at some point, we need to paint this as well. Right, sanding done. Now I need to clean up after myself because I made a bit of a mess. Lots of dust everywhere. Mm. 
so happy with the stairs and then I've had a moment and I suddenly thought I feel like I want to paint this side bit just to see what it looks like so this is the frown ball paint that I originally bought to do my doors with which is very similar to my wall colour so I thought if I paint this it'll blend in but I've had to paint it by torchlight I'm nearly at the top um so I'm hoping when I get up tomorrow it'll kind of all blend it in mm. well I've done it so I've painted all the way up to here. Obviously, I won't be able to tell till tomorrow daylight what it's like. Um, but I hope it'll be okay. You really shouldn't paint in the dark with a torch. Do not take decorating advice from me. That's the worst thing you can ever do. Because <laughs> um, you can't see if you've missed any or anything like that. But I'm just, I really wanted to do it. And I want to see what the colour look like. Oh, the sun's going down again. It doesn't seem five minutes ago since we were studying yesterday. Um, but we've had a successful day painting-wise, so I'm so glad that I've actually made a dint in it and got some stuff done. Um, I'd like to get it all done before December if I can. Oh, Pinky. Pinky, you're for sale. Right, so, need to get tea on. Ooh, lovely chicken burgers. Mm, the burgers are out the oven. I love them because they only take like 15 minutes and then got lots of lovely carbs with salad in and put them in, squeeze them together. Dun, 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 dun. Chicken burgers with salad, little tomatoes and pop chips. I love this Saturday night tea. Nice and easy after a day of painting. Off to enjoy it. Ooh, my tea was so nice. I'm covered in pain. I'm absolutely covered in pain. Ugh. Right, are you ready for your dinners? Of course you are. Right. Dolly, move out of the way. Right, there you go, Florence. Are you ready? <laughs> I love this grumbling and spinning going off. I can repeat the socks. <laughs> right, are you ready? Let's go! <laughs> oh, is your door shut? Hang on. Oh gosh, don't bring really yourself to see. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me put this down. Hang on. Put this down. Oh, then we can open your door, then you can go in. My husband's suffering. I think he must be ill. Because when he's sat on the stool and absolutely covered it in fur, so he's decided to hoover. Right. We're now sat in the bedroom. Um, we're going to pick a winner for the gonk. We're going to pick a winner for the gonk. So I'm going to read all the comments to my husband. And my husband's going to pick a winner. And the winner is Rosie the Girls. Because her little daughter believes in fairies and all things magical. And she wants to call her Pinky. And, and she said the daughter would love it. So my husband thought that was so cute. It is very cute. So Rosie and the girls, you've won the little gunk. And there were so many lovely entries. It was a really hard choice. We struggled. Um, thank you so much for everybody that entered. And lovely Cheryl and your Kia Picanto called Betsy. My husband was saying that his, I've got to tell you, he also owns a Kia Picanto, that little blue one that we run around in. And it's called Connor because we bought it from somebody called Connor and we call it the Connor Connormobile. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got Betsy, we've got Connormobile, and then obviously we've got Percy and Bert as well. <laughs> Love cars with names. It's so cute. So any, anyway, congratulations to Rosie and the girls. I hope your little girl is going to love little Pinky. So if you want to email me your address, um, and then I'll get sent out to you as soon as possible. So let me know. So I'm going to love you and leave you, my dears. So many thanks for joining me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, it's not as exciting as last Saturday when I we went shopping with my husband. We'll have to get him to go shopping again. He's like on the sofa going. <laughs> uh, we haven't done Christmas in the day either. We need to do that tomorrow. <laughs> not looking oh, very impressed. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is three fluffles. My website is down below. My vintage shots down below. It's all down below. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.